The earliest public account of the history of Joseph Smith, the coming forth of the Book of Mormon, and other related topics was composed by Oliver Cowdery in a series of letters he wrote starting in late 1834. These letters, eight in total, were written partly to combat anti-Mormon opposition and partly to increase the faith of church members. They provide many important insights into the translation of the Book of Mormon and the restoration of the priesthood, matters with which Oliver was personally acquainted. Although Oliver's history was popular among early Mormons, historians recognize that they do not tell the whole story and need to be approached cautiously. While they're valuable to students of early Mormon history, they are not entirely free from error and embellishment. Examples of errors include incorrectly dating events in Joseph's life, and even substituting Moroni's visit with the first vision story. Another example includes lengthy quotations attributed to the angel Moroni, which are unlikely to be a verbatim recapturing. It is more likely that, true to his extravagant literary style, Oliver embellished his account to enhance its readability and appeal. While these letters certainly convey Oliver's moving personal testimony of the Book of Mormon, they don't definitively establish other matters, such as Book of Mormon geography. It is true that Oliver understood the hill in Palmyra, New York, to be the same hill Cumorah described in the Book of Mormon, but it is unknown where Oliver got this idea from. There is no evidence that Joseph Smith assigned Oliver to write these letters, nor is there evidence that Joseph personally provided Oliver with the Book of Mormon geographical information contained in them. Unlike the lectures on faith, Joseph Smith's epistles, the Pearl of Great Price, or other texts attributed to Oliver, none of these letters were ever canonized as binding revelation. It is therefore more likely that, rather than seeing Oliver's views as authoritative or prophetic pronouncements, they should be seen as reflections of, if not the main cause behind, popular 19th century Mormon speculation on Book of Mormon geography. Most of all, these letters are intended to be read and used for increasing faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ and affirming belief in the Book of Mormon as the word of God. And now you know why.